Hi guys, Nick here with BitGalaxis bringing you a new video on Unity 3D and today I'm going to talk about how you can program with the particle system and I'm kind of going to explain some differences uh, in how some of these things work and what might happen with them. Now I'm not going to explain how I built the particle system or set that up. Um, that's, there's actually a neat video by Infinzia that I borrowed from and, and that's actually how I made these, th these particles work the way they work and I'll link to that in the video. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into the code to kind of talk about what we're doing here. And as you can see, um, I've got a ship and when I press my space bar, I start thrusting and I also have some flames that shoot out the back and then they stop. And you can kind of see that the flames keep going and they're also kind of relative to themselves. Um, I'll show you how I did that real quick as well. In the editor over here, if you want like the flames when they're coming out the back to actually be relative to the world and not like to the ship, um, you just change that simulation space to world. If you make them local, I'm going to show you real quick what the difference is when you do that. If you make it local and you turn, you see how the flame just kind of comes straight back regardless of how you're moving. Um, if you like that, you know, use it that way. What looks good to you is what you should use. Um, but for me personally, I like it when it's world because when I change it to world, I get this effect. When I'm pushing spacebar, you can see that flame kind of curves as I'm rotating and spinning. So it doesn't look great. Uh, I need to kind of modify it and tweak it some more, but that kind of gives you an idea of what's going on there. So in regards to my code though, one of the problems that I had was the, uh, I was trying to use this, uh, I was getting my particle system and I was calling it flame, I was getting it here and initially I was trying to say flame.play and flame.stop because what I thought it would do was play it whenever I was not thrusting and then stop it. But what actually happened was the flames were um, disappearing and not restarting and there was some kind of issue with that I could not figure it out uh, so I didn't do that um, I had to find another way what I then tried to do was do flame dot pause and then flame dot clear when you pause it if you want to see what happens when you pause it um, I'll show you a video kind of linked inside here um, when you pause it it um, keeps the flames stuck where they're at. They stop moving. They just stay where they're at right there. If you're doing it in the local space and your ship keeps moving, you'll just see the, the flame, like the, the trail, kind of fly away from you uh, as if it just got stuck in time. But if you clear it, it deletes all the particles too. So you know everything just disappears. And then you can uh, press play again um, and it will work. But then what happens is, is it disappears and it pops right back up where you're starting from. And so uh, all the flames just go away. It doesn't look like they just naturally fade away. So in order to make this work correctly, what I ended up having to do was uh, looking on the Unity documentation, this sounds like, this looks like this is an old way of doing things because uh, Unity warns you that this is deprecated, but I could not get this to work um, any other way. And so if anybody knows like uh, the new way or the better way of doing this, please let me know in the comments because uh, I would love to know. But what I had to do was if the throttle is basically more than zero, uh, we set our flame emission rate to 30. And I'm setting this statically. So in code, you probably want to actually grab that value and then save it and then reuse it. So the uh, what I'm doing is using var var em, which I'm just setting as a variable, equals our flames emission. And then we say em rate over time equals 30. So we're just saying emit 30 particles. Um, so, or a rate of 30 particles. And otherwise we set that emission rate to zero and that works. That gets us this, this, uh, you know, this visual that we see here when we're thrusting, we get the flames when we stop, they kind of fade away. So that's exactly what I wanted. Um, it did work. Now, somehow, for some reason, play and stop sometimes work but other times they don't and it's not consistent. I don't know what the settings are or why it works that way, um, but for whatever reason, I can't get play and stop to work correctly um, every time. So that's the route I had to take. So if you guys know why that might be, um, also I'd love to hear on that as well. But anyway, that's everything I had for you today. If you guys liked this video and found it useful, uh, like the video uh, and thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.